These are the Rosies 1992, which is a rig skate that was made to compete with the Impala skates that I've skated before. We're going to go take them to my local skate park and do some tricks that you know me to do in them and hopefully they won't break. Now I've sent these skates from a really cool skate shop called Rampant Skate Shop in Australia, which specializes in getting products that generally don't make it to Australia. It's a really nice shop, you should definitely check them out. You can even get my lace laces there. Definitely check them out, shout out to them. And let's go hit the park up, hopefully I don't die. <laughs> Alright, so in my head, I left the brake on because I thought maybe it'd open up some new tricks, maybe do some stalls and stuff. But in reality, that is so bad to skate with a brake on a ramp, man. That was scary as hell. I was skipping all the time. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Luckily, I did bring the bolt, and I'm gonna switch it out now. Look at how many attempts it took me to get this soul store. The simplest trick in rollerblading. Soul plates are OP. So I'm no expert at souls, so keep that in mind. But that, I do like how like, kind of challenging that is. But yeah, it was very hard to do. Um, the fit wise, I love the feeling of the skate and the look down, it's very nice. Uh, it takes me back to my N12 days. Uh, I forgot my tripod attachment by the way, that's why I have some bad angles. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really slim, nice feeling skate and a good look down. But uh, it's definitely tight on my toes and I don't miss that about my uh, M12s. Not the most comfortable, like I'm starting, starting to hurt. But uh, yeah, let's do some grinds now. <laughs> So if you didn't know, this is what the old, old school, original people who like invented rollerblading, they scared a soul plate just like this. It like tilts back, it almost feels rocket to do grinds on. So naturally I kind of push my toe in for a normal skate. And then on these, you then kind of sink into the heel. It gives this like rockery feeling. But it does slide so well, because it's like nothing touching. It's like just a few bolts, a few metal bolts. It makes a nice sound and it slides really good. But we'll see if we can get some soles on this. Skating like a non-aggressive skate like this because you know there's a such a challenge just to get a soul grind but it feels so right dude it's so fun the challenge is good at the end like just I don't know I feel like I can feel the origins of aggressive skating when I skate non-aggressive skates and do tricks but anyway uh, I mostly want to see how rail is on these I don't know how people used to hit handrails on a, such a non-made for grinding skate <laughs> But first, let me get a mark here. Look at this nasty ass fucking <laughs> nasty ass pickles with pickle juice left out, dude. Dude. Another thing I noticed, especially on that Marchio, is that since the sole plate is rocked back when you grind and the skate is rocked forward normally, like a raised heel, it's really hard. Like at the end of every trick, I would kind of be leaning back too much or leaning forward too much and slip out. I don't know, I just, I think another thing that I really like about skating these kind of skates is the uh, the bigger wheel is super fun. It's like a, it's just so much faster, so much smoother. And the, the added challenge to the grinds is kind of cool, you know? I like, I just really like this kind of skating. Anyway, I'm definitely just stalling from skating the rail though, so let's go to the rail now. Oh god. Good sound, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
does not feel safe at all. I feel like I'm going to get... It's way stickier than it was in the, the Impalas on the ledge. I think I might have just got lucky there because wax seems to make a big difference. It was like a rainy day that day. I think that really helped. But also these are quite bouncy wheels and I feel like that's just not good for grinding on. I need like an old school anti-rocker and probably a grind plate, which man, I wish I could get my hands on like an old school grind plate, you know? These are starting to hurt my feet now and I'm feeling, I don't want to skate the rail anymore before it kills me, but that sole felt so good. Let's just have some fun, see what happens. So I forgot my tripod attachment for my main camera and then my Insta360 did this. This is the entire clip. It stopped recording right before I did any tricks. So you're not going to see me do the backslide, any of the other soul tricks or the hurricane fish brand I got. Also the next shot you're going to see of the Royale is bad because I was hoping I'd get the 360 angle. First off, I'm very surprised how well that slid on ledge for front sides and back slides versus rail. I don't know the science there, I don't know why. I would assume that rail would be pretty similar, but no, there's definitely slide a lot better on ledge. Uh, maybe in the footage I can tell, but I don't know if you have any theories about that, please let me know. I am so hyped on the fact that I got a boot down royale on these, it literally makes no sense. Uh, one of the most dangerous things about skating the non ricks like a non-aggressive skate without a groove is that it can be so easy to move out of the center of your foot like the, you're literally on wheels the wheels can roll you out there's a few times on the rail where i found that was going to happen and when that happens it's all over you know? <laughs> and on royale it seemed like that would be way more likely with no groove but surprisingly it locked in and it felt pretty good but overall they felt pretty similar the two skates except the bigger one the impala was a more comfortable fit, I'd say. My toe was absolutely killing me on my uh, left foot, which is a thing I've had with the M12, so I have to break them in so they don't kill my feet. These seem to be holding up a lot better than the Impala, so like, I could actually see myself getting a decent amount of sessions in these, if you can see, like the sole plate, they're on the Impala, I feel like I was gonna wheel, grind through these rivets, like in a couple of sessions, but this, I'm more on the plastic, and there's a decent amount of plastic there, so I think you can get a good amount of sessions on this skate, as an aggressive skate, which is a testament to the durability of it. And overall it felt pretty good one thing i did actually swap the laces out myself with some elastic prototypes that i was working on and uh, they definitely do not work there was times on the ramp straight away where i was feeling that the boot was kind of moving more than it should than it should and it's literally because of the laces so i wouldn't recommend elastic laces in the m12 but yeah overall really really fun session once again i would love to try this again i want to take them to the vert because the big wheel i think will actually be very nice for the vert and i didn't do many stores on the vert so and overall the big wheel felt great uh, I think these wheels were grippier though. I have to look at the stats, but they definitely felt grippier for grinds in the Impalas. Um, but yeah, it's a good quality skate from Rossi's. And I have to do a comparison one day. Thank you so much for my patrons for making videos like this possible. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. And uh, consider supporting me if you want to. But otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions and go for a skate today.